let's see. So one of the big things that we didn't like with this first version was that it was way too small, like everything fit on one screen basically. So um, the main limitation was actually CPU power and simulating the wind and the, on the iPhone, because we wanted it to be an iPhone game. Um, to solve this problem, we uh, sort of divided the levels into, I sort of uh, researched like how much can we push on the iPhone, and we realized that we can have like maybe six blocks of 512, 512 running at the same time. So to make it a little bit more flexible, we uh, added the possibility to arrange these six blocks in arbitrary combinations like this. I don't know if you see uh, what I did up here. So you can sort of activate uh, these parts of the level. And then you can run the game. And hopefully it works still. And in this way we could create levels that were quite big like this. This was the end goal at that time. Um, things would fly around and die. Um, still didn't really feel like we had everything here. We could build stuff and we could dig, maybe. No, we couldn't dig. We thought that we could dig, but we couldn't. Um, yeah, so um, we had this black and white style for a really long time, actually, and we really liked it. But uh, we also uh, thought that we needed to add colors, but we didn't want to add too much colors. So after a lot of trials and errors, I'm not going to go through all of them, uh, we ended up with a style that looked more or less like this. And the point here is that all the colors in the game are in the background. Um, the foreground is like completely black, and it's all shining through from behind. And um, let me uh, show current version. So here's the current version of the game. Um, is it possible to make the resolution higher somehow? It's, um, yes. yes. So this, uh, this is the, the final style that we're going to have in the game. And the w this is our level editor, by the way, if you haven't realized so far. Um, I think this tool probably saved us thousands of hours, and I'm going to ship in on the limitations are good, because our first idea was to do all the levels in Photoshop and just ship them as files. Um, that would have been a nightmare, I think. Um, here, we can uh, do stuff like that. I'm going to move this over here instead. Oh, no, I think I'm mine. I'll put that back over there. Um, I can hit one button, and I can play the game without in the same app. It's not running in, in Xcode or anything. It's like the game is running on, on Mac instead. And um, we can do everything we can do in the game here. And since the game is not really multi-touch, it doesn't matter uh, that we're not on an iPhone. Of course, it doesn't have at all the same feeling. The pixel resolution is much bigger on the iPhone, so it's completely different. You have to really test the final game. But for, uh, but for, play, for uh, building the levels, uh, this is really, like, really, really good. And um, we also decided really early, I don't know if you noticed the early versions, had very like blocky graphics, and 
we also decided that we didn't want to have that, um, and instead wanted to sort of like uh, throw away the grid. And the way this works is that um, how we create the level here is basically, um, let me say, um, I close this down again. So we have a, a texture map on the top left. It's really dark now, you can't really see in this beamer. Um, but we have elements that we can place like this that you can't see. Um, can we... Um, is it possible to turn off the light so the contrast gets... Thanks. Um, so we have, I don't know if you saw it already, but we have a foreground and a background level layer. So if I uh, load this level back in again, um, this is the background layer, um, like this. And I can move this tree over here if I want. I can duplicate it. And we also have brushes that we uh, place like this and basically paint the level using these brushes. So um, instead of using like fixed elements, we basically ended up building a Photoshop which was that we didn't want to, but it's still like very much more flexible than using Photoshop for making the levels. Um, let me give you a really quick example here. I'm just gonna like delete everything. And um, this is a goal point. We have a draw mode where um, if I um, sketch, I can sketch out. I want the level to look like this. This is not actually the level, this is just a layer that we have in the level editor. And then I can uh, select some kind of element that I want to build with. Like this. And I'm going to 